In today's video, I will show you my favorite recovery tools and why I like them. Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscription button below right now. And if you are new to the channel, let me tell you that in this channel, you will find videos about running training, my preparation for Boston Marathon in September. If it happens, let's keep at our fingers crossed. And I still have the hope that it's gonna happen. Uh, you will also find uh, videos about running gear, running shoes, and something that a runner must have, recovery tools. So let's dig into it. By the way, these are in no particular order. The number one tool is the trigger pointed, trigger point massage tool, body back body. This guy is amazing. If you have a back, you need this tool. I'm beyond amazed at, at how well it works and how easy it is to use. I sit at a desk uh, all day long when I have a pain in my shoulder, neck or back. Using this tool provides significant relief. It's, uh, it's designed for targeting those extremely small tender areas that are hard to reach. You can do a massage from head to toe. It also has 11 knobs in three different shapes that can remove any nut, shoulders, legs, feet, arm, basically all the parts of your body you can target with this tool. I can't really afford to go get a massage every week or like the pros every hard session. So in that case, I use my body back body. This one, I bought it 10 years ago and I don't regret. What I really like about it is that uh, it's very easy to use and I can use it everywhere and anytime. You can actually get this one at Amazon for $29.95 and I will also provide the link below um, so you can try it if you like. My number two recovery tool is this medium density foam ro roller. I like blue, by the way. I'm almost confident to say that 99% of the runners I know own a foam roller or have foam rolled at least once in their career. This tool is by far in my top three. It's because it can make me feel like new after a grueling 20 miler. I mean, I, us I usually foam roll very light before my runs when I have the time to do it for at least two, five, two to five minutes or uh, just to loosen up the muscles a little bit before my warm up. But most of the time I foam roll at night, especially after those long runs during those days that my, my legs just feel tired. Foam rolling helps increase blood flow and oxygen to the tissue helping the natural healing process and recover faster to be ready for the next workout. I own two foam rollers. This one is the 36 inch and this one is the 12 inch long that I take with me everywhere I go when I travel to races especially. This 36 inch long medium density foam roller is not an expensive option. You can get it at Amazon for $18. You can also find a link in the description below. Uh, just go down, scroll down, and you will find a link to it. I will try to get you a link for this little guy also, in case you, you, you need it. Uh, it's a good option for when you're traveling. And my number three is this little guy the spiky massage ball. This spiky ball is my best friend and it goes with me everywhere. I used to suffer from plantar fasciitis back in 2015 and 2016 and nothing helped, but this little ball was my best friend. If you're suffering from plantar fasciitis, I really recommend this ball to alleviate the pain that you feel in your foot. Let me clarify something. 
This bowl will not cure you from plantar fasciitis, but it will relieve the tension in your fascia of your feet. If you wanna get rid of plantar fasciitis, you have to strengthen your calves or do other stretches. I can make a video of that in the near future if you want. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested and I will definitely make it. How I overcame plantar fasciitis. There you have it, my friends. Those are my three favorite recovery tools. Of course, I have more recovery tools, but maybe I will make another video to go over all of them. Let me know in the comments below what kind of recovery tools do you use for your recovery, or if you have used any of the ones that I mentioned here today. I wish you a great week and see you next time. Stay safe and happy running.